Sure. Because I do not think, I think that could have gone either way, and it was just an execution question. No, I definitely agree, and I think that uh, in this draft phase, as we get into it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious, gatekeepers, what you got in the tank? And they do not Ooh. want to give Throat Puncher Jade and the Baco band coming out, and yeah. they will never see Jolts on Baco. <laughs> I stick with my prediction that this may be largely... Oh, already my prediction's wrong because there's a Jumon. Yeah, Jumon coming in first. Uh, okay, so that gives you a little bit more stun. Maybe that's what you're looking for, to slow down the Jade. Or the Pearl, rather. I know that the Pearl can actually really suffer if you can get Reign of Arrows trapped combos because the number one thing that works well against Pearl are things that force her uh, to use her dive because she has a whole bunch of direct damage protection. Both her counter and bubbles are very, very good at stopping damage directly headed away via melee or projectiles. If you can get those big AoE attacks in on him, that's what they were leveraging last game to really find value from the Varesh. Rukon also has that. Blossom also has that. Blossom does have that, and forcing the Blossom pick after a Paloma ban, and Rygon going to be chosen again. Do not want to see Corrupted Shifu, uh, but no Baco this time, so... Uh, this was what I called last game. Stay the same, yeah. Last game, I said they should pick a Rygon. I stick to that. I think this is a very good draft from you twos. They basically get the same as that Shifu con that was so terrifying, but it's a Rygon, which is... I always viewed him as lame Shifu. Call me wrong. Rygon's a lame Shifu? I thought, you know, I maybe, I I I maybe know dated, I but I feel that way because Shifu's like the old wise master, you know? Oh, you mean lore wise? Yes. Okay, I thought you meant like kit wise. I'm like, they're kit wise. Not like a kit lame wise, Shifu. they do have a similar role in hard engaging into the back line. I think, I think, but it's certainly, they're not. I think that's the synonymous. only. Sim I was gonna say. I yes. think that's the only similarity that they have. I think, kit wise, how they cause pressure I just, is a little different. I just meant that one of them's an anime boy and the other one's an elderly anime yeah. boy. Well, one so. one day he'll save. He'll he'll avenge his father. Really? One day. I don't think I've heard that line before. One day. Have you never heard that line? No, I don't think I've ever heard Rygon say, "I will avenge my father." Not once. Well, you choose. On map. Match point. Ooh, already the stun's finding value corrupted. Oh, corrupted. He's steady so much, shot. So much danger here and trying to get him out of harm's way. Throat puncher able to get him out for now, but corrupted. That was one stun! That was one steady shot from Jolty. It found all that value and again, oh, throat puncher. puncher. That's the same combo. So they are putting on the heat right now. Gatekeepers barely lost any health. Yushu's down to 50%. That's, that's what I want to see. That's what I was looking for out of the Jumong. You can see already the value of those stuns. They're going to have to play this more carefully. Otherwise, this is going to go very poorly for you Jews. Comes against the end cap. On to Hot Biscuit. Jolts. Switching back. Oh. Right. Oh, Corrupted goes down. Wow. <laughs> claw get out claw of, of the Wicked. Yeah. yeah. Beautifully done, and Hot Biscuit, his claws both of the of the Undying and the Wicked have been have been brutally effective. You've seen time and time again him just manage to pull people in. This is a good potential, but there's no follow-up. No, and there's too much health on the side of Gatekeepers for them to really get a lot of damage out, especially with only only Naraga and Throw Puncher in here. It's going to be difficult. These traps by Jolt have just been uh, harassment a one on one and uh, perfectly landed. Good flick. Yeah, that was good. Man's got a wide mouse pad. <laughs> well, gatekeepers finally get the kill onto Naraga and throw puncher. Uh, he's just, you know, oh, no. doing his spins. And that's all right. Spin cycle class. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, game game one was all just taking advantage of. You know, corrupted's gonna go in hard at you. Just get that first stun. Yes. They got the trap. Big damage. Nothing you could do about it. Big difference between Rygon and Chifu. Rygon does have cooldown cycles where he needs time to reset. If Shifu plays everything perfectly, he can just stay in. If Rygon is uh, even uninterrupted, he does ideally want a time to back off. When he backed off, he used the Heavenly Strike to get back in. They knew Perry was out. There was a steady shot waiting for him to land, instantly finding the stun. Stun, Claude the Wicked pulls him in. He eats so much HP. So, they have lost the Gatekeepers plenty of times in these rounds. Just trying to find a way and Corrupted doesn't want to get... No, he's such a again. cautious boy. Yeah. He's playing around those corners. Now you get the engage. Now using the parry is... done against Jolts. Yeah, he's really focusing Jolts there. That's a good call. Yeah, going all in on Jolts. He gets the zap as well to reposition on the end cap onto Gezebi. Gezebi in a little bit of trouble here against Corrupted. On the other side, Hot Biscuit's not getting any value at all down there by himself. He's got to come back and try to help out as team he does finally get back. 
I speak too soon. Corrupted, exclusively interested in gets a B now. And this, I also think, is a very good call because it's blinding value and denying, like you said, the opportunity of the rest of his teammates to get that healing because so much needs to be spent defensively for the Blossom. So you two is trying to find a way in. They are. It is trading evenly in the health pulls here. Throw Puncher gets pulled out. Does have his escape available. Dance of the Dryads comes out, but he gets stunned out of it. Gezebi in a little bit of trouble. Now Corrupted wants to go in and on, in on it. Tries to turn back onto Jolt, but cannot do it. Gezebi in a lot of trouble. The Flamethrower from Throat Puncher. And the tree saves Gezebi for now. But this is slowly turning into you choose his favor. Uh, it's tough. Trying to get this up, they have a lot of energy pushing through. Stunning against Gezebi, does he find it? No, the th machine gun coming out, gonna get a little bit of damage onto, onto Jolt. It forces Gezebi out of the play. They cannot find Hot Biscuit there. Corrupted almost with that combo they found Jezebi. They forced all of Jezebi's defensive abilities. Naraga had all, but the pressure from Hot Biscuit just made it so difficult. Now as this arena shrinks, you're not gonna have that. You're not gonna be able to separate the fight nearly as much, and I do think this benefits you choose. Oh, corrupted, able to bully out everybody, and all of a sudden Hot Biscuit got annihilated. Dance of the Triads is gonna get no value, blocked by the bubble and the tractor beam, and stunned away. Oh. He has to be gonna go down, and the last man left is Jolt. So you were winning in the health pool battle for the majority of the game, but the control of the map, <laughs> the control of the map. Sorry, and, that no, combo. You're fine. Yeah. Control of the map and control of the game, control of positioning was you choose. Well, especially once you get to that final part, when the arena shrinks, that is when this roster will thrive because you can just have such good combined play. You saw there, you do not get to ult if the pearl is in range. No. You, there is so much in the way of silences and bubbles. Uh, and the second that the Pearl is constantly in range, because you do not have the capacity to push her out of range with the arena that small, you find major value. Corrupted going all in already. Just to harass Jolts. Raga taking a ton of value there. He'll heal, he'll heal it all back up. He's only lost a little bit of true HP. It's indicative, though, of a shift in focus from Jolty, which is good to see. Like I said, oh, you need Jolt's to worry about the Pearl. Jolt's in a little bit of trouble, but he got, he got out of it. Corrupted, again, causing a lot of havoc down there. He does take down Jolt's true HP. Throw puncher first. Has machine gun. It will be deployed just for shreds of damage. Not exactly the kill that they want, but it does scare Hot Biscuit back. Now Dragon Slayer for the orb. Will not connect, but it does land onto the oh so low pearl. Oh, and now the rain of arrows coming through as well. Double rain. Oh. Of arrows, so much damage. All Naraga can do is just take it. Lost a lot of health on the other side. Corrupted. Wanting to go in. All in on Jolty. Pushes Gezebi away. Has to come back. Good play by Corrupted. Naraga is going to be waiting for an opportunity to get this EX from the orbs to heal up his HP. He does not have that. This is going to need to be a more passive pearl. Just trying to keep his team alive. Corrupted wants to go in on Jolt again. Finds the parry, but pulls away. Good silence, using the AoE silence from Tree. Oh, Dance of the Dryads as well to force off Corrupted. That was a forced ultimate, as Corrupted just causing so much havoc back there. So now Gezebi left with no energy. They do get the orb, though. Gatekeepers do get it. That's pretty big for them after that. Oh, the right flame throw. Biscuit. That's dangerous. Th turning right back around, he does get out of it. Can he get back? Just so much pressure from Corrupted. Throat Puncher, does he get the double stun? He does get the one stun against Hop Biscuit. Hop Biscuit, does he go down? No, staying alive from Gezebi. Gezebi trying to keep him alive. He stays up on the tree, but he finally goes down. And you choose still on fire. They actually do get the trade on Corrupted. Yeah, Naraga, though, I think, does have the advantage in this late game over the Blossom until the arena gets very small. Then the uh, Forest Sanctuaries are devastating. For the stun against Jolt. Trying to move in on it. He wants to kill. Jolt has like no help. Oh, Gezebi what? Did not save him. He tried to juke, but he could not. And Gezebi, the last person left on Gatekeepers, will go down. And you choose win the first two games of this map number three. Gezebi. Really good in sudden death, as all Blossoms are, but nothing beats Pearl when the arena starts shrinking. All those bubbles, just the real estate goes to zero. And it's free real estate. I said the first two games. Gatekeepers took. It was round three. I'm getting I'm getting behind myself. Here we go. I, I completely understand why you would feel that way, though, because you choose do look so good. Yeah. Um, they, they, every single round, it feels like we, we were hypothesizing 
Is this more of the same, back and forth, or have they figured something out? I think it's the latter. I think the second they make the adjustment of, oh, now they have a Jumong, it's just more of the same clean sweep they're looking for. Corrupted. And just bashing everybody away. A lot of damage on the jolt here. The ball comes through. Oh! The on the tractor. This stuns! Is oh Pulled my away. goodness! Deleted from the game is Jumon. That was insane. That is the full stun potential of that composition. The silence is coming through, coupled with the taser, coupled with the weakened. You do not get anything in that engagement. Jolty is gone. You choose what to give, move on to the playoffs. They do not want to give gatekeepers any room. It was the first round of this game where Corrupted got just beaten down. It hasn't happened since. And you choose. The y'all are going to come through, going to finish off Hot Biscuit. And they look good. They, they have two more to go to move on in this decision in this decision final. My lord, that was something. Yeah. That was just the, exactly what you could hope for from that composition. There is literally nothing they could have done better in that combo. That's insane. Well, TJ, here we go. You choose. Can't be stopped right now. Gatekeepers gotta find gotta find an answer for for this corrupted. I mean, that combo, that's so hard to get away from. But it like throwing down the pearl bubble and you have tractor beam to try to get away from. Corrupted so your, fast! You can't you He's can't in again! He's just gonna push everybody away. He doesn't miss. He just hard commits every single round right off the bat. Using those tremors, there's the follow-up. Again, he's just going to live here for a while now. And there's not much they can do because they're not finding the punish like they did round one. That is the right timing. You can see Jolty has no follow-up. Gatekeepers do get the orb, though. Now just trying to box him out. Hot Biscuit wants to go in. Jolt's trying to follow up. This is actually really good for gatekeepers. Yes. Grabbing that orb control and grabbing Corrupted. Corrupted going to take a lot of damage here, just trying to get something out of it, trying to get pressure on the Jolts. Jolts is going to take a lot of damage. The stun coming through for Throat Puncher, but he takes damage in return from Jolts. Good defense against that ult from Hot Biscuit, though, and Corrupted and the rest of you two do get the orb. They are working their way back into this round, but it needs to be perfect. It is up top. Beautiful damage onto Hot Biscuit. That was ideal from Corrupted. Very good play from Corrupted. Now there's Jolt on the bottom half trying to box in the bubble against Throat Puncher. You're going to lose that every time, and you choose. Going to confirm that off the rocket. They get the orb. Corrupted, just pleading away Jolt. Jolt doesn't have an answer for it. He's going to go down. He got double whacked in the face. They started off that whole combo just by finding the end cap on the Hot Biscuit. Good. Now that now that you've got Hot Biscuit out of the game, just ignore him. Focus down his uh, melee DPS. Keep his support busy by threatening damage on the Hot Biscuit. And it's, it's easy. Game's over. Game is over. A lot of energy available on the side of you choose to finish this off. I do want to find Throw Puncher, but I love... I, I love it. I love Corrupted. He's like, yeah, I took a bunch of damage, but I don't really care because my name's Rygon, and I'm just going to bash you in the face. It's exactly what he did against... It, to, to confirm the kill on Jolts, just double bashed him. Yes. Leap. Goodbye. Three charges instantly generated. There's the follow-up after enough time to dodge to make sure there's no iframe available with the Black Arrow. Beautifully done. That was peak Corrupted. And you may not... That was peak performance, and it was devastating because there was nothing being done it felt like consistently to stop corrupted there was that one incident where the steady shot came through there's one moment where i was like oh they might have punished yeah and then that was the only time that happened all round well this is it now for you choose they win this round they move on gatekeepers have a long road ahead to try to get back into this game and get back into this match long roads indeed it is winnable. They're a very good team, and we've seen, like I said, moments of punish, particularly Jolts, particularly when he's able to get those combos onto Corrupted. Unfortunately, we're not starting off on a good foot until Hot Biscuit pushes forward. He's trying to get uh, Corrupted. Right up with Throat Puncher. They want to get some damage out, but there's no damage at all. Hot Biscuit trying to cause some havoc down there, but Bubble's going to force him away. The recast of the Tremors, that battle right so useful just because you can keep people uh, up in the air for so long. It's almost a stun. Yeah. And then coming back down, they kind of stop for a quarter second as well. Thrown up. The ult is popped, but doesn't really get much out of it. Drag throw puncher. Oh, doesn't get him. Good bubble. Very well played by Naraka. Throat Puncher needs to stay alive perfectly here, though, and he's got so much pressure on him. 
I'm trying to get behind him, Jolt. I'm trying to get away from Corrupted. Staying the course here. They're doing a good job keeping him away. No, never mind. Jolt is getting bullied right now, taking a lot of damage. Naraga sees what's happening, going to just put more pressure on, keep Corrupted up, and he does. Jolt takes a ton of damage out of it. The bubble keeping Hot Biscuit out of the fight as well. Jolt has no health left after that engagement. Could taser bounce. Jolt see barely alive. All they need to do is burn through Jezebi, keep him occupied for one moment. There's the engage with an in-cap. Perry stun should find the kill. It is oh. all on this defense from Hot Biscuit, and he oh. makes it work, but not for long enough. Yeah, Jolt goes down to Corrupted, who just harassed him all game long. You choose with these two kills if they can find them, and it looks like they will. They will be moving on in the decision round for one more game to try to get into the playoffs for BPL season two. There goes Blossom waiting for Hot Biscuit. He goes down and you choose is moving on. I do choose you. You chose it, you called it. That is beautiful, Naraka especially. Thank you for demonstrating the potential of Pearl. I appreciate that. And again, I'm going to give credit where he deserves all of it, and that is corrupted. Oh, for yes. Just so much harassment on the back line, not allowing Gezebi, not allowing Hot Biscuit, or not Hot Biscuit, excuse me, not allowing Jolt to apply pressure with Hot Biscuit. Being able to separate the team, being able to keep them away from each other, being able to cause so much pressure that they weren't able to do anything. And again, the, the Tremors, uh, the, the Tremors were on point. He tremored, immediately tremored Hot Biscuit as soon as that ult got popped.